Okay, what is the key? I know a lot of people have problems with how, where to set the ears or how long to leave the ears, that sort of thing. What is the key or what is a tip you could give people as far as how to set the length on the ears? Well, when you're, when you're holding the head, you don't want the ears to extend beyond the end of the nose. So when you're trying to figure out how much you should take off, when you bring that ear forward, it shouldn't go past the, the end of the dog's nose. So that's kind of an easy guideline to go by. Um, we were just doing the... Um, the, the trick on pull, you know how to how to get the dog to prick their ears to put their ears up so you can see if you have anything hanging out from underneath um, and so that was one of the the tricks that I figured out when you have a dog that's really bored with you and you're trying to get them to lift their ears and you try the want to go for a ride want to go bye bye and all that um, so I just find that if you find like the the right above the occiput so you take a, that little bit of hair and you lift. And that's going to prick the ears to just about where they should be. And then you can scissor underneath and see if you left any hair hanging out. So that's, that's okay, I have a... Can you come up here? No, come on, really. Really, I have to... You have to come up here. Okay. Just real quick. Are you a groomer? Yes. Is this your dog? No, I have one at home, though. Okay. I want to show everybody this shirt she has on. So could you turn... Could you show the camera this shirt? So this is the shirt that all the owners bring to you, or the, you know, the calendar that they bring to you that they want the dog to look like the shirt, right? So the problem with this shirt is it's not white enough. But the other problem is this, the hair, I'm not, you know, like fondling her or anything, but the hair, <laughs> I can't, okay. This is, this is rated GTV, the kids are watching. So, so the ears are separated from the head. So we see so many people, they come into the shop and they have this picture. Um, but for a Bichon, like if you look at what Sue's doing, the, the ears aren't separated. So basically, they probably pulled this ear back and trimmed it in front, and that's something we want to get rid of. But I thought that was a good example. Um, I told them I have one at home that was done by Bichon Brigade 15 years ago. I belong to a group. And it has a bunch of Bichons playing on the front, all kinds of Bichons. And on the back, it's got a Bichon sitting like this, very mad. I am not a poodle. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what we see a lot of them groomed as. Thank you, though. I just thought that'd be a good... You spotted that in the crowd. I did. I, I, I wasn't looking... I was looking at the shirt. You know? <laughs> right, exactly. Okay. I hope you were looking at the shirt. <laughs>